Okay, good day. So, our lesson for today is about the lesson 3, which is the mean of a discrete probabi probability distribution. Example, the probabilities that a customer will buy 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5 items in a grocery store are 3 over 10, 1 over 10, 2 over, 1 over 10, 2 over 10, and 3 over 10, respectively. What is the average number of items that a customer will buy? So, to find the mean of a discrete probability distribution, our first step is to construct a probability distribution for the random variable x. Okay, so let's do this. No? So, our values. Okay. Okay, so let's do this. No? So, first we need to construct a probability distribution. Okay, so let the first column, uh, let's label it as X, no? This is the number of items that a customer, that a customer will buy. Okay, so the items, the number of items that a customer will buy will, uh, might be 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5. So where did I take this? So, here's in the problem. Okay. So, here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And its corresponding probabilities are uh, 3, 10, 1 over 10, 1 over 10, 2 over 10, and 3 over 10. So, I will just simply uh, write orderly in order. So, because we write x here, so we will write in the second column as p over p of x or the probability of x. Okay, based on the problem, the probability of getting 1 is 3 over 10. The probability of getting 2 is um, 1 over 10. The probability of getting 3 is also 1 over 10. The probability of getting 4 is 2 over 10. And the probability of getting 5 is 3 over 10. Okay, so that's it. Okay. So, our step 2 says here that you need to multiply the value of the random variable x by the corresponding probabilities. So, this means that we will multiply these values to this corresponding probability here. So, we will construct another, we will add another table or column. Okay. And we will label it as x times p of x okay so we will continue now 1 times 3 over 10 is 3 over 10 2 times 1 over 10 is 2 over 10 3 times 1 over 10 is 3 over 10 4 times 2 over 10 is 8 over 10 5 times 3 over 10 is 15 over 10 Okay, so the next thing we need to do, the step 3 is add the results in step 2. So what we're going to do is we simply add this uh, third column. No? The values in third column, we will just add it. We will just add it. No? So we have the summation of x times p of x is, okay, um, let's do this here. 3 over 3 plus we have 2 plus we have another 3 plus 8 plus 15 over 10. Okay, it is equal to 31 over 10 or it is equals to 3.1. Okay, so what does it mean? So it means that the mean of the prob probability distribution is 3.1. This implies that the average number of items that the customer will buy is 3.1.
another example. So, the probability is that a surgeon operates on 3, 4, 5, 6, or 7 patients in any day are 0 0.15, 0 0.10, 0 0.20, 0 0.25, and 0 0.30 respectively. Find the average number of patients that a surgeon operates on a day. Okay, again, the first steps in uh, getting the mean or the average of a discrete random discrete probability distribution is to construct a probability distribution. So here we're going to construct a probability distribution. We will draw two columns. Huh? Here. So let's label it as x and here as p of x. Okay. Then first, we have uh, 3. Values of 3 and its corresponding probabilities is 0 0.15. Then we have 4 and its corresponding probabilities is 0 0.10. 5, the corresponding probability is 0 0.20. 6, its corresponding probability is 0 0.25. And 7, its corresponding probabilities is 0 0.30. Okay. That's it. The step 2 is we need to multiply these values by these corresponding probabilities. So, we will add another column. Okay, it's raining now. Okay. So this column, we will label it as x here times p of x okay so 3 times 0.15 is 0 0.45 4 times 0 0.10 is 0 0.40 5 times 0.20 is uh, 1.00 6 times 0 0.25 is uh, 1.50 7 times 0.30 is 2.10 okay then the third step is we need to add all these results in step 2. So the sum of x times p of x is equal to, okay, if we add this, it will result to 5.40. Okay, so meaning to say, the average number of patients that a surgeon will operate in a day is 5.45. Thank you for watching.